right, this is Life Coach D coming at you, and I'm coming at you with Vision Chronicles. So I want to continue on with just my journey, and I think I last left off, or the last time I, I shared was when I was talking about the middle school entrance. And so throughout middle school, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade was very, very interesting. Um, the first thing that happened is <clears throat> I had to begin to navigate through six classes. We, you know, on the East Coast, they call it hours. On the West Coast, it's typically units or um, periods. And um, that whole transition, well, obviously, just for a normal middle schooler is different. But you add, like I was telling you before, these big, huge volumes of books that I had to carry around. And I had to carry on a volume for uh, English. And then I had to carry a volume around for math. And then I had to carry a, a volume around for history. And once again, like it's super embarrassing um, every time a test would take place, I would have to disappear and admit I would, you know, have to go to the counselor, special education counselor, and take my test there so I wouldn't be under pressure having to read, you know, my test a little bit longer and slower than everybody else. But you couple that with just the obscure time that it goes on in middle school. You know, you start understanding your body, puberty is introduced, uh, and pimples are on your face, and you start doing all these different things because you're trying to fit in and you're trying to be um, like everybody else. But the reality of it is I wasn't like everybody else and it was painfully obvious. And I think the more that I try to uh, focus on me not being um, different from everybody else, the more it kind of was obvious because my vision was at that point continuing to, to decrease. And the only coolest part that I can think about middle school and my vision as it pertains to that at age 13, it just leveled off. It didn't get any worse but it didn't get any better. And as a result of that, I, I felt encouraged because um, the diagnosis, and I didn't say this before, let me say this, when the doctors first finally, uh, excuse me, first diagnosed me, they said to me that at the rate my vision was leaving, I was going to be completely blind by age 16. So if any of you have ever been given a quote unquote death sentence or some type of bad diagnosis, you know the anxiety and the stress that goes on. And, you know, I suffered in silence. I didn't tell a whole bunch of people how scared I was. And it was like, I was waiting for the day that the lights would turn off and I would be completely blind. And so all this is going on in my mind. And so when I was told at 13 that it leveled off, there was a huge sigh of relief. However, I still had lost a lot of vision. And so I'm still trying to navigate that whole thing introduce sports sixth grade you know obviously uh, at that point they wouldn't let sixth graders play sports but seventh grade rolled around and um, very very embarrassing moments that took place for me in life as a as a young kid when things start happening with my vision I was a kid that was outside always playing around doing something throwing some type of ball or whatever but all of a sudden my eyes were not as quick as they were and things would happen like, you know, I would get a fast break basketball instead of me catching it and my eyes were slower, I would get hit in the face. And then everybody would make fun of me. And this is including family members. Same thing with a football or whatever. And so what happened was, it didn't, I, I shied away because I didn't want to be embarrassed. Because once again, keep in mind, I got all this other stuff going on. So I kind of pulled away from sports. You know, I was called everything from a sissy to a punk, whatever, whatever, because I um, wouldn't do the sports, but it had nothing to do with me being scared of the sports it had all to do with being embarrassed and put on blast um, because I could not do what I used to do. And so uh, I never forget in seventh grade, my, my cousins, I had a whole bunch of cousins I went to school with, they talked me into going out for basketball. And I didn't want to go out for basketball, but of course, you know, you, you a young man, you ain't going to turn to you no pump. Unfortunately, I went out for basketball, didn't make the team, was kind of embarrassed, but the best thing that could have ever happened to me uh, during sixth and seventh grade is my coaches got a... Uh, my PE teacher slash coach got an, uh, a glimpse of me running and they realized I was good at running and I was fast. So sixth grade, once again, I could do sports for seventh grade after, you know, not making a basketball team and feeling once again like a failure. Track season rolled around and I went out there and man, it was the first time that someone told me how good I was and that was a reassurance of who I was. And at that moment, I could hide in my sport and what was more highlighted at the time was not necessarily that I was visually impaired, but I was quick. And so, uh, introduced track and field into my life as you see me wearing my Coach D hat. Um, who would have thought at sixth, seventh grade, um, just being talented, it was a gene thing. All of my uncles could run, my family was pretty fast. Who would have ever thought that track and field would be the introduction to me doing some things much later in life, but it also was a way of escape for me. If just for a moment, a season where my vision wasn't the highlight of everything because I could get out there and just be free and run. And so 
that's what I have so if I can encourage you with anything in this video because I always like to leave you with something encouraging just know that things in life your matriculation in life uh, the pathway through life will have all kind of different uh, avenues and, and angles and and, 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 and ways that you would get to wherever you're trying to get to. But in the midst of that, there's always something that will be highlighted on that journey that will cause you to connect with your destiny. So if you give up before you actually figure that out, then everything that you've gone through will be worth nothing or will be for nothing at all. So if I can encourage you with anything in that video is, man, there's gonna be awkward times in life. But stick it out, stick through it, because on the other side of that is victory. On the other side of that is success. And um, it can open up doors for you to realize that everything that you've gone through was helping you for what you would uh, enter into into your future. So that is what I have. So to you guys here from the beginning, I just remember your lives are very valuable. Much love. God bless you. Peace be the journey. And the Vision Chronicles will continue.